The Rogers County Jail is overcrowded and the sheriff blames criminals from Tulsa. Sheriff Scott Walton tells me nearly 70% of those locked up right now in Rogers County are from Tulsa County. He's calling those people thugs. And as a warning, if you break the law in his county, he's coming after you. This is certainly the part of the population that Tulsa doesn't want. These are troublemakers, they're career criminals, and they come to uh, take away from quality of life in Rogers County. The pods, cells, even holding rooms here at the Rogers County Jail are full. Well over capacity with nearly 300 inmates, most of whom are from Tulsa. Something I don't want to see on my watch is the fact that, you know, what was uncommon, and I'm talking about robberies and murders, becomes common in Rogers County. Sheriff Walton takes it personally, having served on the streets with the Tulsa Police Department for 27 years. Streets that he says some in his county are afraid to visit, but he makes it clear that crime doesn't just happen in the big city. You don't have to go to Tulsa, it's coming here. And uh, I'm not trying to scare people by saying that. While the sheriff is fed up with a high number of inmates, those locked up are noticing the overcrowding issue too. Just tell me that it's just crowded. Brian Brown's fiance is doing time for missing her drug and alcohol assessment, now serving 90 days. She says that, you know, it's pretty packed. I mean, there's at least three to four people in each cell, and then they're even laying out in the uh, commons area. With no empty cells, the sheriff wants everyone living outside his jurisdiction, especially in Tulsa, to know this. My direct message to Tulsa thugs is to stay out of Rogers County and, uh, and apply your trade wherever you think you can get by with it. And as simple as that, Sheriff Walton says the trend is crime and drugs. He often doesn't see one without the other. He says it's really sad to see so many young people locked up with their whole lives ahead of them.